Oh, here it's uh, it's the 22nd, is it now? 23rd. 23rd, and we're here in Charleston Harbor, as you've seen, um, going in, welcoming the spirit of South Carolina, uh, which is the South Carolina Maritime Foundation's flagship, the ship that she exists for. Um, the Charleston Race Week and the Charleston Harbor Fest all run to support um, this educational pilot schooner built in the last, uh, built what, five or six years ago. Um, well, she was started a lot earlier than that, but one of the prettiest schooners on the, on the, on the high, high seas at the moment, um, for sure. Has a lot in common with some of the bigger East Coast schooners, but certainly nothing like the more, I don't know, uh, the smaller, sort of more inshore pride uh, of Baltimore or the Lynx, with more of that rake look, the privateer look. But the Spirit's in a replica of an old pilot schooner in the uh, city that was one of the real headquarters of the pilot schooners, um, one of the biggest harbors on the East Coast throughout the colonial period in the slave era. It's still a very large commercial harbor here in Charleston. So, a little quick thing about the Harbor Fest. Uh, the Russian ship, the Kruzhestern, the second largest sail training ship in the world, or sailboat in the world, I think even. The Kruzhestern and her 300 plus feet had to come into Charleston um, with a broken foremast, and that's like a 20 ton broken foremast. So they had to come in and have commercial cranes and everything work on them. Um, but the rest of the ships start coming in tomorrow, including the US Coast Guard Eagle um, and various other tall ships, 20 plus. Um, in total, and they'll be here for the Harbor Fest, which includes all sorts of, uh, you know, tours of every one of these boats, um, make your own boat stuff, you know, workshops, games, festival atmosphere, uh, likely over 100,000 people here this week and weekend to see all the tall ships before they make their way up to Boston, I believe. Um, so come by Charleston, check it out. I think it's charlestonharborfest.org. Um, welcome to check out Charleston, what is it, uh, scmaritime.org. Support these people that make um, Charleston such a great place to sail. Uh, and, uh, and go to scmaritime.org for more information about the Spirit and her educational programs. Her mission is to really uh, uh, spread, spread the educational programming across the entire state. Charleston or South Carolina has one of the, if not the lowest, you know, graduation rate of any state in the country. And um, this boat has already put three plus thousand people through a, a program to get them to be involved in their learning. Um, and uh, that's what she does. That's what all sail training should do. Most of it does. It's an incredible way to learn. Anyway, that's it. We'll try and get a little more for you in a bit.